What is up, people? Convicted Margaret Lawrence of Ponce here coming at you with another crypto video. In this episode of All in Crypto, I'll be sharing with you guys a tool that you can use to easily create a DAO on the Solana blockchain. Now, since you're watching this video, I'm assuming you already know what a DAO is, so I won't go into um, the details on that. But what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be demonstrating you the platform, and then we're actually going to create a DAO um, in about three, I think it's three or four steps. Um, it's very simple. It's very straightforward. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, one thing before I get into the content is, is if you like crypto content, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell. Um, that way you can be the first to know whenever I post new videos. So with that said and done, let's go ahead and jump right in. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, the platform that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, actually, before I get into that, the reason why I started looking for um, a project, or excuse me, platforms and tools for DAO is because I'm actually creating a DAO on the Terra blockchain. It's going to be called Squares DAO. And if you want more information on that, um, you can get the link down in the description, but just on a high overview, it's going to be fractional ownership of the DAO's treasury. Um, you can get some more info on squaresdao.com. But the tool that I'm going to be talking about today is called Squads. And Squads is currently, as I mentioned, on the Solana blockchain. Um, I've actually been talking with the devs in the Discord, and they're going to be um, also having um, support for the Terra blockchain. So uh, that's very good for them. But basically what how it works is there's on-chain governments um, and it's a full stack. So they call it squad generator, right? DAOs are basically a squad. So that's kind of the terminology that they're using. You have a multi-sig wallet, you have on-chain voting, you have easy deployment, gated access, meaning that um, you have to have like an NFT or some tokens to get in. Um, as you can see, you can submit proposals, um, adding people to the squad. They can vote yes or no, so on and so forth. Um, this is good for protocol or NFT DAOs. So if you have a community, you can use your token or your NFT and sign up. Another thing um, people use is startup teams, investors, and freelancers. Maybe you're doing a hackathon or you just need some internal governments or you just maybe want to use squad as a multi-sig wallet. Um, if you're in a gaming guild or a gaming community, you know, play to earn type games, you may want to start a DAO. That way you guys can all stay um, together and you can all hold in-game assets to use with one another. Um, here are some collabs that they have going on. A couple of VCs backing them. Um, their current roadmap, which we are right here on um, the DevNet beta, which uh, I'll be showing you guys that. And here is the team, which is actually very, very active in the Discord. So let's go ahead and click on DevNet and um, we'll go ahead and open this up. Um, you are going to need a wallet, a Phantom wallet, or excuse me, a Solana wallet. In this case, I use Phantom and um, that's how you're going to create your squad. Here, you're going to see where the button says create your squad. Um, also, you can use the faucet here. Um, my balance in my dev wallet is already enough, so I don't need any but you can go here and airdrop some soul and um, it will automatically go to your wallet. But we're going to create a squad here. Um, we're going to create a new squad. What we're going to do is we're going to name this and we're going to call this YouTube DAO. Squad's token is going to be Y DAO. Excuse me. Y DAO. The description is. Uh, a DAO taking over YouTube. Okay, initial token amount. So you can put how many you want. For this example, we'll just put like 1,000. Hit next. The next thing you need to do is um, select your token allocation model. So if this is going to be something where everyone has equal shares, you would select this one. 
or if this is going to be more by uh, allocation of members, meaning that maybe someone has um, 10 tokens versus 7 tokens versus 12 tokens, so on and so forth. For this one here, we're going to um, do it as an allocation of members, just for the example. Next is your voting rules. Um, we can see here that these per parameters are essential for the voting dynamics in your squad. Make sure you consider them carefully. Support and form can be changed after the deployment. Okay, so basically what this means is how, what percentage of support do you need to pass a vote? Um, normal is about 51. You want 51%, right? That means majority out of uh, the, the squad. And then quorum is what percentage of the members have to vote in order for the proposal to get passed or rejected. So this one is 50%. So you can put it higher, you can put it lower. We'll just set it for this example at 25%. And then core member threshold, how many tokens, um, this is how many tokens does a member need to have to be considered a core member? So we only have 1000 tokens. So to be a core member, you would need 10. Okay, so we just hit next. Here is going to um, where you can add the initial members to your squad. If there's any, if it's just you, you're just gonna stay there. And this is gonna be your wallet. In my case is the test wallet. And you can uh, decide how many tokens go to here. If you were to have more members, you can just click add initial member, put their wallet address here, and then how many tokens they need. Let's say it's 100. Now you'll see this says total allocation exceeds 1000. So that would be because I need to lower this one here. Okay. And there, now you can see it, it went away, but this is not a real address. So we'll just kind of leave that there alone. Um, and yeah, so you can put less, you can put more, however much it is to go. So for this example, yeah, we're just going to put that I have 110% of, actually, 1,000. <laughs> okay, so then it comes to the review. Um, you can see our squad name, YouTube DAO. Token name is the Y DAO, a DAO taking over YouTube. 1,000 tokens, allocation by members. Here is the voting that we set up. Starting off is only one initial member. To create the DAO, it's gonna cost 0 0.04 soul. Let's go ahead and deploy that bad boy there. Go ahead and approve it. Let this go and set up. So there it goes. Our DAO has been created. Now, if we look, this is our back end. We can see voting is this tab here. If we want to create a new proposal, we can come here, create our proposal, um, run ads on Twitter, right? We can put this, what do we propose? Um, Allocate 15% of treasury to run at, okay? If there's a link, you can put a link there. Here you put your response, yes, no, okay. And then you can set a date, set an end date and propose that. So we'll go ahead and approve that. So now you can see our um, proposal has gone in. So if people want to vote on this, they can come here and easily vote. Another thing you can see is the members. So far, there's only one member of this DAO, but if we wanted to add a member, we can click, easily click here, um, put the, the person's address, how many tokens they need to get allocated, and then this essentially becomes a proposal, right? You have to set a proposal to add a member. So if I wanna add a member, um, I'd be the only one voting. So I would vote yes and add that person, okay? The next thing you have here is the wallet. Um, currently they only have for the sole um, treasury, but they're gonna be adding more support soon. Um, but you can deposit funds here, you can send funds here and see the balance overall. It is multi-sig, so if you have any other members that need to sign off on it, then um, they will need to sign that as well. And then they're also gonna be having a chat here, functionality, um, where you can chat with the DAO. 
And here is going to be overall info of the DAO itself. YouTube DAO, once again, taking over YouTube, how many tokens we have, our token name, allocation, all the stuff that we set up is basically shown here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Once again, Lawrence Aponte signing off. Peace. I'll see you guys on the next one.